Women, aviation, and speed records, all of these have one person in common, Jacqueline Cochran. Jacqueline Cochran set more records in aviation than any man or woman across the globe. Although dominated by men, Jacqueline Cochran provided women the opportunity to make a vital impact during World War II, securing for women an important role in the history of 20th century aviation. Jackie Cochran was born Bessie Pittman in West Florida. It is debated on when exactly she was born, but some report that she was born in the year 1910. Born into poverty, she faced many hardships and disadvantages. While working odd jobs and saving her earnings, she bought her first pair of shoes at the age of nine. Working in a hair salon, she acquired her crafty skill set and became a highly respected and favorite beautician. Meeting Floyd Olam at a dinner party on one of her business ventures, he encouraged her to learn how to fly. She earned her license to fly and took to the sky in 1932. Soon after, Odlum financially assisted her in efforts to owning her own cosmetic company that would grant her a multi-million dollar heir. Just two years later, in 1934, Cochran won first place in her first air race. During her races, she befriended Amelia Earhart. In 1937, she placed first in the women's Bendix division. She set the record of the first woman to perform a blind landing. Setting and breaking records, she earned her first out of 15 trophies from the Clifford Burke Harmon International Trophies of the International League of Aviators for being named the most outstanding woman pilot in the world. As World War II began to surface in 1940, Cochran wrote to Eleanor Roosevelt in intentions to creating opportunities for women to join amongst the Air Force as pilots. The idea was suggested to Army Air Force General Henry H. Hap Arnold, which then resulted in the rejection of her idea. Defeated but not discouraged, Cochran devoted her ambition to breaking more records. Later that year, she broke the record for national 100 kilometer alongside the international 2,000 kilometer speed record. She also establishes a women's national altitude record and broke the international open class speed record for men and women. Cochran traveled to England in 1941 and worked for several months in the Air Transport Auxiliary, a branch of the Royal Air Force. This granted her the ability to become the first woman to fly a bomber across the North Atlantic Ocean. With many events in the war, General Arnold invited her to ultimately partake in creating the WASP Division. The Women's Air Force Service pilots gave women the chance to fly for their country. Fast aircraft, like the fighter aircraft that I had flown, with this kind of thing. And there was no uh, reason to assume that women could be trained on a large scale. In 1943, Cochran received the U.S. Distinguished Service Medal for her help with the training of WASP pilots. This never had been done before. They'd never trained a group of women collectively. There were quite a number of fairly decent pilots around the country. On December 20th, 1944, the WASP program was discontinued and the WASP was banned. As the war came to an end and WASP being discontinued, Cochran became a post-war time reporter for Liberty Magazine. With this job, she gained the allowance to witness several events. Following the war, she had interviewed and published a meeting with Chinese leaders Chiang Kai-shek and Mao Zedong, even having the chance to watch General Yamashita surrender in the Philippines. Becoming the first person to enter Japan after World War II, Jacqueline's political interests and actions led to a close friendship with Dwight D. Eisenhower. During this time, she sent articles to be edited by Liberty on the Nuremberg War Crimes Trials. In 1952, she helped Eisenhower with a massive rally at Madison Square Garden. The rally was recorded and was delivered by Cochran to London, ultimately helping Eisenhower decide to run for president. Cochran persuaded employees at Walt Disney Studios to create an animated cartoon to support Eisenhower's candidacy. Jackie remained friends with Eisenhower until her death. In 1953, she became the first woman to exceed the speed of sound. In 1962, she set 73 records in three years. This was uh, something completely new. After being inducted into the Aviation Hall of Fame in 1970, she was a part of the Indian Hall of Fame.